When I pick up the camera, maybe my hands are shaking. I may have a heavy head beat. But after shooting for a little while, it is okay. I have nothing in my mind. I have only my subject in my mind, you know. I just shoot. <laughs> The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball! Go! This is my country. And this is the way it has been for more than 40 years. I only remember a few weeks when things were any different. I was just a little boy. But that's when everybody in Burma got into the streets. They had enough of military rulers. They wanted change. It was the students who led the demonstrations. They became more and more outspoken and they demanded that the generals give it power. There was so much hope. We even had Aung San Suu Kyi, who came back from Europe to lead the people. But the generals wanted it differently. At the end of the day, 3,000 people were killed in the streets and it was all over. I feel I, I want to fight for democracy. But I think we have better make a longer plan. We cannot go out to the streets again and, you know, get shot because we have no more people to die. These people were so brave, but sometimes I feel they died for nothing. There is nothing left from 88. It's like everything has been forgotten. Aung San Suu Kyi is sitting in house arrest in the middle of Rangoon. She is in the house, but you cannot go and talk to her. It is just, you know, darkness. I feel the wall is forgetting about us. That's why I decided to become a video reporter. At least I can try to show that Vama is still here. We have to hide our camera in a bag. We can only shoot for a little while. And after that, we have to smuggle our footage out of the country. 
It is a very difficult job. But we try. If they catch me with a camera, I know I will go to prison. And if people talk to us and tell us what they think, they will go away too. So they keep silent. Our stories are silent. In the, in the night times, I always think about what I did during the day. Uh, a little worry, oh, who could have been watching or, or something like that. What about some, someone knows me, notice that I'm shooting pictures. Yeah, I think about this. Fear is so deep in everybody, also in me. Sometimes when I feel like this, I go and see Kumau. There is a whole group of us in Rangoon. We are all facing the same problems. But Kumau looks at it differently. Even though he already spent 12 years in prison. He's a special guy. He doesn't seem to mind. Kumon is a persistent person. He is really upset or depressed. He is strong. ကျွန်တော်လည်းကျွန်တော်တို့ဘာရေးလို့နေလဲဆိုတော့ဘူးတိကောပြီးကျွန်တော်တကယ်လို့ခဲ့တယ်ဒါမဲ့ဘာမှ
ਦੇ ਦਰੀ ਨਾ ਇਹ ਜਾਂ ਮੇਰਾ ਇਹ ਰਾਤ ਕੇ ਮਾ ਕੇ ਮਾ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਉਂ ਤੇ ਜਾਂ ਜਾਂ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਉਂ ਇਹ ਸੋਈ ਜਾ I remember the 15th of August quite well. I was on the bus going to Rangoon. I decided to make a story because the mood was quite strange on the bus. Not like usual. On that day, the government raised fuel prices to double rate Everything got much more expensive. To normal people, that was a huge problem. They are still scared. Who is Infama? Who is military intelligence? They cannot know who is who on the bus. But although they are not talking, I know something will happen soon. I can feel it. When I arrived to Rangoon, I had the news that prominent demonstrator will make a solo strike at a crowded market in downtown. The security is very tight in Rangoon. So many government people are there without uniforms. He may not last more than two or three minutes. He will be arrested, uh, we are sure. For our team, it is the time to use all our energies and we decide everyone go there. So we went there and spread around. And these things happen just in front of me. It's Giorgio who got this footage. My tape is lost. I got too greedy at the time because I followed them. That's me in the white shirt with a black bag. I followed very close and I saw them throwing the demonstrator on the track. I ran towards the track. I had to get a picture of this. Then I hear somebody shouting. It was me. They caught me. They took me to an office of the secret police to question me. How did I get the camera? Why was I shooting this? So many questions. I explained that I borrowed the camera from a friend and that I was just there by accident. They said, we don't believe you, but we keep the camera and the tape and you can go. I was relieved, but also I know that I should not be fooled. Why did they release me? I think just to follow me and see what I'm doing next. Do I work with somebody else? How do we operate? All those kinds of things. When I inform 
about this to my organization headquarters, they told me you're not secure enough in Burma. We want you to come to Thailand. But I didn't reply their email. I ignored their order. I know something will happen. If I miss the chance to shoot now, uh, I'll have to wait another 20 years. It's once in a blue moon, you know? So I decided, whatever happened to me, I'll do it. After a few days, I got the news that Susu Nui, who is very famous for her courage, will make the demonstration. It can lead to a bigger demonstration if she can do something very well. So we need to promote. As usual, we spread around. We are trying really hard to get her, but the people cover and protect her. It was a big movement for us and a big mistake for them because they did so many brutal things in front of people and we could document that. We are shooting this and the police are shooting us. <laughs> they record me and I record them. <laughs> so, you know, the, we cannot also <laughs> define who is who at the time. <laughs> we shoot everything <laughs> get in the camera, <laughs> you know. The taxi driver is telling that, yeah, they are very brave. I'm glad to see this. I'm very excited. Now I'm saving money for my family and if something happens, I will join the demonstration. It's not normal. You know, saying political things to a stranger is has never happened before. But at the time, we know what will happen next. Yeah, the movement is bigger and bigger. And then we edit the pieces and we send it to Oslo. A few hours later, my friend called me that the pictures are shown on CNN and BBC. It's shown repeatedly again and again. Such public displays of dissent are exceedingly rare in Burma these days and a clear challenge to the country's hardline military rulers. Some say the most serious challenge in more than a decade. The Democratic Voice of Burma, or DVB, uses satellite TV and shortwave radio to send news of the protests around the world and, for the first time, back into Burma. About 30 reporters are on the ground working undercover. They film material, then smuggle it out of the country, doing so at great personal risk. It was so amazing to see our footage going around the world. For the first time, I feel we can really do something. 
but I also know for sure and cannot stay in Burma any day longer. So finally, I agreed to go to Thailand for a while. We all think there will be more demonstrations and people are getting for the movement. So I will be the center for spreading the news around the world. I was very unhappy at the time to be in the office to answer the phones and to call and send email into Bahamar and manage people. I just wanted to be in the field. But I need to be there and I began preparation for our cameraman in Bama. Hello. 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 ไอ้กิเปียนเนี่ยเกมนาดิเปียนยอดอ่ะอาลุมอนกว่าดีอักกว่าตามาเป็นโลชิมาอูอาลุเปียนพี่รอบอกปองเลยอาลุมอนใช
Komon and Tonton were trying to talk to the Manx. But on that day, Manx didn't allow people to film them. They think they are intelligence agents from the government. But actually, there were some real intelligence people in the street, and they tried to grab our reporters. The Manx protected the reporters and took them into their lines. From now on, our guys could walk freely with the Manx. We could really work together. One protester in the street cannot do much. But there are thousands, maybe there are 400,000 Manx in Burma. Really, it is the only force in Burma who can scare the military. And the government made a very big mistake. In a town near Mandalay, they beat up some Manx. In Buddhist thinking, we are never, never allowed to do that. So everybody was very upset and the Manx demanded an apology from the government. Manx are not supposed to do political things. But when the people are suffering and starving, sometimes they rise to give their support. This has happened before, even a thousand years back. They turn their arms go upside down. They will no longer take arms from the generals. Only a few civilians were following them. People are under fear of the cans. People are very eager to see our footage. They just switch on Democratic Voice of Parma. They are waiting to see what we are going to show them. My people inside Parma was walking very enthusiastically, so I was full of energy. And at the same time, the journalists from every prominent media organization were waiting to see our footages coming out from Rangoon. In Burma, hundreds of monks have been protesting for a third day after a significant rise in fuel prices prompted a wave of public discontent, which is seldom seen in Burma. The BBC has obtained exclusive images. To protest here is to risk jail and torture. But today and for the past month, people across Burma have dared to challenge one of the world's most repressive regimes. The latest demonstrations are being led by Buddhist monks, a powerful force in a devout nation. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's your name? Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Hey, 
ဟိုသူတို့အဓိလင်းကြင်ညာပြီးတော့လူတူကဘူးဟောင်းနိုင်မိပါညာဒီဟောပဲလေအဲ့ဒါမှာလူကတော့ကူကြီးကြီးပြ
不不买那个。哎，我搞到功夫啊，去这不拉杂的，就脱了，有的我要的。哎，两毛五块钱。Over 100,000 people took to the streets of Rangoon, a protest that has grown in size and confidence over the last six successive days. A slim and militant dictator. Thousands of Buddhist monks march unbidden. The monks have come to symbolise dissent, a quiet, patient, peaceful rebuke to military brutality, and the chance of an alternative Burma. Millions of people are watching our footage. Our network is really small. We don't have manpower. We have to do alone with little handicaps. But the things we did with these things could shake the people in Burma as well as the people around the world. That really happened. This is our dream, which is coming true. Americans are outraged by the situation in Burma, where a military junta has imposed a 19-year reign of fear. The regime is holding more than a thousand political prisoners including Aung San Suu Kyi. Yet the people's desire for freedom is unmistakable. Vowing to bring down a repressive military government. The last time anyone defied the generals like this, the army killed 3,000 people. So what will they do this time? ไอ้ขนาดยาวมาเหมือนกันที่มาอุดรนั้นจะยืนเชียร์แต่ไม่จุดเลยเท่าไหร่กันอ่าไม่รู้ไม่เวเลยนะเอ้าไม่ตีอ
is not a good photo. We can see only a, a small lady, but we couldn't see her for a long time. She is still under custody. You know, house arrest. They have tried the people to forget her, but she is still in our heart. At the same time, I realize that it is very dangerous for the men to go and see her. In the 1990s, the generals made a big mistake. They made an election and almost everybody voted for her. It was like she made the whole people forget the peer. I'm sure that generals will be very scared of this to happen again. They will begin to do something after that. My my thought was true. Hello. Hello. Hey, hello, Jai. Hey, Jai, come here, my dear. Ah, Joe, the Tong 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 อ่าดีกาละมาเลยรู้ดิเนี่ยอ่ะอู้ซ่องเนี่ยจ้ะล้านจีเนี่ยเนี่ยล่ะหมดมาล้านได้ดีๆเว้ยอ่าอ่ะ
you know, the lower ranks and privates. But for an army man, disobeying an order is the most difficult decision for them. They know their generals are really cruel, really brutal. You know, they know more than us. ก็แล้วเดี๋ยวช่วยยังเนี่ยอ่ะล่ะเอาเข้ามาปุ๊บไปมาเลยตัวเป็นมาเนี่ยเดี๋ยวเอาเข้ามาเดี๋ยวเอ
amazing scenes of defiance on the streets of Rangoon today. <laughs> ไปดูเลยมาไปดูเลยโอ้ยเนี่ยกูต้องบอกว่าเฮ้ยไปดูเลยล่ะเนี่ยบ้าเกล้าเลยโอ้โหเจ็บจริงเลยเนี่ยติ
看下嘛呗嘛，这周六来对比下嘛呗，风雨好呗，还有来说。啊，好好，对吧？好好嘛，今天我奶奶也去了呀，这下奶奶你弄有没得？奶奶奶奶也在弄，俺俺不了解啦。啥子奶奶？风雨是不是对到弄俺了？你这包嘿，俺这个几不看来弄哦。阿弟阿妈妈。
avait voir. ไอ้จ้าล่ะเลยจ้าเลยเออมาจ้ามาลูเลยเมียเนี่ยจะก้าวมาจ้าเลยเดี๋ยวอุ้มมาสุริยาสุดาล่ะมาสุริยาปิด
ကောင်းလေးတဲ့ထန်ရရူတွေကချေတော့တွေကိုကိုးတဲ့ကောင်းကလေးတွေကဆိုတော့ကြောင်းသာစက်ကြောက်လာပဲရှိုမယ်က
He is one of the old fighters from 1988, so he knew the way the demonstrators moved. เออกูมาเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออ
the public be one of Kill us in the airwaves RFA, VOA and BBC RFA, VOA and BBC Sabadas Watch your step In the late days of September Generals were back in control Military people are hunting any person with a camera We have to be very careful The Burmese military government, they realize DVB is the one uh, filming and smuggling all this footage and sharing with international agencies. So they systematically target DVB reporters on the ground. Everybody in our network have spread out. They are feeling that they can be arrested at any time. But we arrange some hiding places. Hello, Hello. Hello. Come on, what's your name? Come on, 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 Hello? Hello? I'm It is too much. 
I feel na mure just like something has been broken and cannot be repaired but I just go on my job because we need to do it I'll go back to Bama. I'll go through the mountains and see what I can do. ไอ้เจ้าเนาะมีคนขึ้นหลอกมีเจ้าเนาะบ่าอ่าเจ้าเนาะตะสู้อ่ะหลุมบ่าวเจ้าเนาะทีมาลิไอ้เจ้าเน